Do you know what the largest destination attraction in Statesville, North Carolina is? Tune in now. Welcome to Discover Statesville, the show that takes you on a captivating journey through the heart of one of North Carolina's most charming towns. Welcome to Discover Statesville. Today we are joined with uh, Brittany Marlowe, the Executive Director of Downtown Statesville Development Corporation, and Liz Petrie, the Community Engagement Manager with DSDC. Welcome, y'all. Hi, thank, thank you for you. having us. Welcome, guys. Thanks. So a lot of people you know, know about Downtown Statesville, talk about DSDC. Explain to us, in, in y'all's words, what exactly Downtown Statesville Development Corporation is and does. Sure, yeah. So Downtown Statesville Development Corporation is a nonprofit um, that is funded through the Municipal Service Tax District. Um, really nerdy stuff to say that we are the organization that does lots of cool things in Statesville, particularly in downtown. Um, so our area is the core of downtown, kind of the, the streetscaped area, and we actually expand a little further um, north, south, east, and west. Um, to go to about Salisbury Road and Mulberry Street and up to Stockton and, and down to um, down to Shelton Avenue. And so we, we cover the commercial area in that and promote economic vitality. That is our main goal for Downtown Statesville Development Corporation is to pr promote economic vitality in downtown. Yeah, so um, Main Street, because a lot of people I don't think know, is part of a much bigger thing in the, in the state, right? Can yeah. you tell the listeners a little bit about... NC Main Street and that because it's it's a serious thing. You guys have to get reapproved every year. We, and yeah, we do. I don't so know if that's the right word. But we accredited. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Judge. Judge. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about that because I don't I don't think people understand like what a cool thing is that. Statesville actually has a Main Street program. Mm -hmm. It's part of something much bigger. Not only do we have a Main Street program, we have one of the oldest Main Street programs in North Carolina. So North Carolina Main Street was big. Uh, excuse me. Um, Statesville's Main Street program was begun in 1982, Oops. so just over 40, right at 41 years ago, and um, we are one of the longest running. I believe there are only two Main Street programs that are older than us. Oh wow! And so we are we are really proud of that. Um, so North Carolina Main Street is just kind of the overarching umbrella that um, gives us, hands down from Main Street America, all of the guidelines and all of the um, standards that we have to meet in order to meet accreditation and to keep our program um, in in um, in compliance with all of their, their regs. And um, it, it guides how we do things and the, the things that we focus on in downtown. Okay. Um, so one of the questions from a from a tourism perspective and with Discover Statesville that we get a lot um, that that we always try our best to answer but then defer to you guys a lot is there's you know what about the mall there's no retail in Statesville and I and I always like to say think outside the mall you know it's we have this amazing walkable downtown with and, and I know it's growing every day but like walk us through what downtown Statesville really has because it's pretty amazing yeah. We don't have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll make time. We were actually kind of doing just a little inventory um, this this afternoon before we came over, and we are up to um, 18 restaurants, wow. and one is getting ready to open, so we will have 19 restaurants um, once the quarter opens. Um, we have uh, several sweet treat, treat shops, uh, gelato, ice cream, baked goods. Um, we have two coffee shops that are pretty just dedicated to coffee. We have a wonderful wine shop. Um, Another another couple places that you can um, partake of beverages like Wine Maestro and um, the Watering Hole. Um, we have a, a brewery, Red Buffalo, that's mm -hmm. been here getting ready to have his fifth anniversary. Um, and then we also have uh, a lot of cultural things like, you know, the WAME radio station that does live music on several days a week and um, our museum and the Idaho Arts Council, the library. You guys are doing an amazing job getting people in the Civic Center. So yeah, that's another great thing that we have to offer downtown. Yeah, two um, two theater base camps as well. That's right. Yep. You really don't think take the time to think about it, but um, with Statesville being the county seat, downtown really is home to all of the library, arts mm -hmm. council, sure. museum. I mean, you get so close to it that you don't you don't think about it, but really a destination for for all those cool things and destination drivers too. You guys have. Two outdoor outfitters, yep. mm -hmm. right? Uh, Roots Outdoor and Carolina Mountain Sports, and two bike shops. Two bike shops. Yeah. Two, two bike shops. Um, There's really something for everybody. I, I mean, absolutely, I think so. And and more and more interest, right? It it's continuing. It's oh, continuing absolutely. to grow. Yeah. 
Um, I know, you know, Richard and I talk a lot about events happening in, in Statesville, and um, you guys really are core core for that, too. You've got some, one of the main reasons we said, hey, we, we got to get you guys on the show now, because um, you guys have a lot going on, so thank you for making time out of your day, is that you've got some really big events, like Pumpkin Festival coming up. Yeah, we do. And let me insert and say that that covers two of our Main Street uh, four-point approaches. Two of our four Main Street um, approaches. So we have promotion and economic vitality. And economic vitality will cover like these businesses and business recruitment and bringing new businesses into town. Upper story residential. Yeah, upper story residential is a big part of that um, to to help get get people living here in downtown so that we can um, we can recruit more businesses and and businesses you know maybe from other places that are already established and you know really cool really cool shops and and retail um, and then promotions covers the events. And so these are these are four categories that the DSDC has determined that they want to focus on, or no, these are part is, of the accreditation. This of the is Main part Street of the program. accreditation for okay. Main Street. So it's promotion, economic vitality, design, and then organization. And organization is really just the running of our um, our our board. Really mm-hmm. covers our organization. It's the nuts and bolts of everything. And then design. Um, in design, we do our vibrancy grant. That's a, a big thing that we do. Um, we offer it's for signs and facades for downtown businesses. We'll do a matching grant. Um, just dropped off a check. Yeah, we did. Nice. We yeah, we recently just had two businesses that um, that that took advantage of that vibrancy grant. Coddle Coin will be opening up soon on Front Street and Statesville Apothecary. They both use our vibrancy grant. Oh, cool! To help kind of offset, offset some of their cost of opening. Yeah, I've I've been in that apothecary. They uh, they really know their stuff. Yeah. That's a really cool. It's just a cool vibe when you it go is. in there, and, and they have so many ideas that it, it's very exciting to see what they're going to do. Definitely going to be another destination, yep. I think, type business and, and traffic driver. Um, but back to events. Yeah, Liz, completely. with, with, with <laughs> from, no, it's good. It's so much to talk about. And I don't think people know that there's a real strategy behind <clears throat> everything that Downtown Statesville does. And I think it's good to, like, um, so you guys host your own show, Downtown on Tap. Yeah. So um, for our listeners, there is another show you can um, you can just Google or go on downtownstatesville.com called Downtown on Tap that really focuses on the businesses inside of downtown and and the value that they bring. But you guys never really have the chance to talk about. What, what we do, what you do. Yeah. So that's how we thought. It Everybody would be good thinks to... that, that that events is all we do sometimes, but um, no, yeah. it is not. That's but, the most forward facing, but, but we do is, a lot more. Yeah. yeah, and our events are growing like rapidly. We just had the most successful Friday after five concert series that that we've ever had, um, with great sponsors, great bands, great people coming out. Um, it was it was very successful this year, um, and then of course yes, Pumpkin Fest is coming up. Uh, we usually expect around ten thousand people. Um, I have two hundred and twenty five vendors this year, um, and a hundred people on a wait list. So uh, definitely the best turnout last year. I think we had one eighty something, mm-hmm. and the year before was like one twenty one thirty. Yeah. So, so we have grown by 100 vendors in two years. And believe it or not, all 10,000 of those people find a place to park. They I know. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we do put out a parking map, and Mitchell has graciously um, allowed us to use their parking this year. Right. So that gives us oh, a yeah, few extra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But um, there is parking. There is parking. <laughs> <laughs> Might yeah. have to walk a minute. Yeah. But Visit okay. our website. Look at the parking map. You, you'll find somewhere. Yeah. But t- so tell us a little bit more about... Um, Pumpkin Fest is a huge one for you guys. Friday After Five is a big one. But you do a lot of smaller events, too, that are very impactful, especially this time of year. Yes. Well, we actually – so now we do our Haunted States Will Ghost Tours um, March through October. We do it the fourth Saturday of the month, except in October, of course, we do um, the last two weekends. Um, but uh, Keith Ryan with the Historic Sharp House mm-hmm. players – Another uh, asset. In yes. Uh, they do a fantastic job with this this tour. And so it's, it's basically um, a little bit of an embellishment on some legends. And uh, you get to, the, my favorite part is you get to walk all the way around downtown and you get to walk down some alleys and find some creepy, creepy little places to. <laughs> it's awesome. I haven't done it in several years, but it's a, uh, it's a really cool experience. Well, and Keith's also great about changing it up. So mm, if you yeah. have done it, if you haven't done it for several years, it, this is a great time to come back. And I do haven't that. done it since the historic players took it over. So uh-huh. it's probably a little different. It's, than... it's very, there's much more flair to it now. They, yeah. d- they dress <laughs> up. Nice. Yes. And, um, yeah, but, and I think that uh, he has some surprises in store for us this weekend and next weekend. So yeah, some Very special, cool. some special spooky season. Very cool surprises. But um, and but then we also do um, 
little things like trick or treat. I mean, which is not really a little thing. It's <laughs> it's thousands and thousands of children, <laughs> thousands of kids <laughs> wanting pieces of candy. My my favorite thing is when I have a new business and they're like, "What should I expect for Halloween?" Just all buy the, everything. All the candy. <laughs> yeah. All the candy you can find. <laughs> buy in bulk. We'll run out. Yeah. Um, but then, and then we go into the holidays, which we do um, our Christmas tree lighting. We have been oh. working on that. Small, Small Business, business Saturday. Saturday. Forgot yeah. that one. Small yeah. Business Saturday the is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And it is, um, you know, it's, it started by American Express, but we, we um, you know, you lean into it. Absolutely, it. we yeah, do. We, we do. do. We're doing a scavenger hunt this year. Oh, very oh cool. nice. Yeah. yeah, try to get people in as many stores as, as we can. Yep. Yeah. So, and and then the you guys, it's a really big deal. I mean, uh, the the downtown was featured in our state magazine for for Christmas. Mm-hmm. A couple. Oh yeah, of, yeah. a couple the, years. The Hallmark. Ago. Yeah, it's like a Hallmark city. Christmas. That's like a, like a Hallmark movie. So tell us a little bit about. There's lots of things you mentioned the Christmas tree lighting, mm-hmm. but tell us about the. Mm-hmm. Shop and strolls, and and we are actually are responsible for decorating most of downtown. Yeah, yeah well, we, we don't physically do it. Well, we, we coordinate, <laughs> but we coordinate anymore. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that was DSTC's job at, at some point, I'm sure. But. Yeah. yeah, decorating the trees and the wreaths and yeah, and all the fun stuff. We're actually encouraging our business owners to do their windows this year, and um, the winner of the contest gets a luncheon for ten people at the Sharp House. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I wonder so what my dad will do for that. Hmm? Yeah. So I wonder what my dad will do oh, for that. Oh. <laughs> Richard, you're going to have to go into Carolina Mountain Sports and help him with Maybe it. Maybe a Santa in the kayak. Yeah. Oh, is there, is there might be like a Santa hat in there. Something to do with the fish. <laughs> help him. But that's new. That's a yes. new thing. That's, that's new. a great idea. And we're also planning um, a gingerbread contest. Mm-hmm. So Very a gingerbread cool. house okay. contest. So In once, stores or in one location? In stores. In stores. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our, our goal, so our job is to get people downtown. But, of course, we want them to come into the, the establishments while they're here and shop and eat and do all those things. So we try to do some of our things are more community based, like the Friday after fives and pumpkin and fest. Pumpkin, and yeah. some of them are more get people in inside the store. Wine walk, for instance, sure. art crawl. We art do two crawl. art yeah, crawls a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are Usually things successful to, events, both of those. Yeah. Yeah. And we have our, you know, we have our, our kind of core events that lots of people know about um, pumpkin fest and Friday after five. And those are, those are, you know, we've been doing this for years and years. Actually, this is the twentieth. Yeah, our twentieth pumpkin fest. Um, so those well, those are the deal. ones that get, get lots t-shirt. of people downtown. But then the other smaller events, like Liz said, and that's what we are. That's what we're focusing on now, going forward. Those events are well established and they bring tons of people. But we really want to want to just get people inside of, of retail locations and restaurants because there's yeah. people just don't realize all the wonderful things that we yeah. have down here. I, mean, I think the events are a very good mix of. You know, community and and I think they're all visibility. They all let people know, hey, you might not go into this store or restaurant today, but you're like, oh, hey, I didn't know this was down here, and I'm gonna come all back. the time. Yeah. I'm gonna come back and, and go in and, and see this. So can we can we circle back to Pumpkin Fest? Sure. sure. Um, you know, you mentioned vendors, mm-hmm. but for for people that don't know, talk a little bit more about what. Time. What all takes place at, at Pumpkin Fest? What is there? Um, yeah, well, so in addition to all the, the craft and um, arts and crafts and food and fun stuff, social district. We can talk about that in a minute. Right. Um, but we have uh, a main stage that we, we used with um, sponsored by the city, but uh, Denzo has graciously sponsored our entertainment this year. Right. Um, and we have added last year an after party mm-hmm. concert. So last year we had the Eagles, and this year we have not the, <laughs> the Eagles not tribute band. The, yes. <laughs> the Eagles the tribute real band. The Eagles were here. Um, <laughs> this year, it's when, we uh, this, when we share this, when we share this podcast, bunch, we're going to say the Eagles coming are coming. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the real one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so this year we have uh, Kids in America, which is an 80s tribute band, and we're going to do a costume contest and just make it make it a lot of fun. Um, we've got... This is very exciting You get to dress up this. again, Richard. This is the <laughs> month for you. My favorite thing. Wow. <laughs> we have our community stage where we have um, dance groups, cheerleading groups, uh, martial arts artists um, take up our community stage on Meeting Street. Um, we have our Kid Zone. Yeah, our Kid Zone is actually this year, it's being moved, and we are going to do it on the lawn at Broad Street United Methodist. So there's a nice grassy space for the kids to run around, and there'll be inflatables and things to do down there. So that'll be kind of um, the main Kid Zone, and then we'll still have kids' activities down on East Broad, um, where previously we've had the, the Kid Zone, and there'll still be pumpkin smashing and pumpkin painting down there, and then some other vendors set up specifically for kids in that area as well. Yeah, and did you mention the car show? 
Oh, did you? No. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The... Chuck would be upset with us. <laughs> the car show. Yes. Uh, yes. Court Street is transformed into a, um, a collection of cars. They have to be, I think, 1994 or older. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's always fun. The cruising is always fun. There's usually about 50, 50 or 60 cars that come. So all and the way down can... Court Street, maybe wrapping around Meeting Street if they need a little a little more space. But Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, yeah. I'm not a car guy, but I always enjoy walking down there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it, it is yeah. fun, and it's different. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something, I think this is Chuck's 11th year doing that. Really? So. That's awesome. Yeah. If, are the apple pies back this year? No. Oh. They, yeah. they can't get, they're, they're older. Well, I understand now that they're doing apple pies out at their church, and they're, that's that they've created a oh. destination for that. People actually go out to Taylorsville. And mm. I just learned this, but um, you know, the opportunity for a new apple pie vendor. If yeah. Well, for Keith, the future. Keith did it last year oh, and did, okay. did very well. Yeah, oh, good. Um, but he's he's too he's too busy. He's already got Christmas on the brain. And there will be apples. Dixie will be there with apples. There mm-hmm. will not be apple pies, but you can make your own. Yeah, <laughs> all your favorite so favorite type food stuff. and all yeah. that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm sure somebody will have. There's there's a lot of bakeries, and in addition to our food vendors, there's a lot of that do baked goods and stuff. So yeah, yeah. and we it, do. We have we have food vendors. Um, you know, there's your typical kind of fair food. You know, corn dogs and funnel uh, cakes and uh, the ribbon fries, Polish sausage, yes, yeah, Polish, so- Polish sausage, and um, and then we'll have. Um, teriyaki, the chicken on a stick. That's always very Island popular. Island noodles. Yes. Shannon's Island, favorite. Island noodles. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just your, a, a good variety. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, two cool things that we have setting up. We have two mobile gem mines coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, oh. I've, and I've got one at the kids zone and one down at the pumpkins. And we had one last year and it was very, very cool. So we invited them to come back. Again, so oh, that was different. Yeah. yeah. And on that main stage, so you said that you'll have sort of that after party with mm-hmm. Kids in America, but there there will be other entertainment on that yes. stage throughout the day too. It right? starts at noon, um, okay. and we'll have we'll have uh, his and hers um, is playing opening, and then um, my mind just went blank. The Groove Machine. Okay. Groove Machine is playing in, in between, and they are a full on horns. Band. Sweet. So they're, they're very good as well. And this is still in that new, last year you guys had a new stage location. In front of 220 so, Cafe. Yeah, yeah. 220 yep. In front of City, City Hall. Hall. Yeah, okay. And I think so it's a good spot for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it is. It'll, it'll be nice. We'll um, you know, set the stage up. It'll be going down there all day. And then at 5 o'clock, you know, the, the majority of the festival will close down and we'll just have that block of Center Street open for the after party. So That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. And, and right around the corner. Um, so Liz mentioned briefly in passing Social District. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I know you want to talk about that a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, so that's this a cool year thing. we are not having – we typically have a wine and beer garden at Pumpkin Fest, and we are not doing that this year. We are letting everyone take advantage of our Social District that we have downtown. And so that's people smart. can – Yeah, absolutely. Because so, it, it did not exist at did, last year's Pumpkin Fest, no, right? No, okay. it, February. We've had it since February. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll be interesting. It took us about a year to get it get it done sure. so it was our birthday present yes mm-hmm. it was yeah. <laughs> oh, oh the three of us yes it's very nice of you guys to do something nice for the community <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so we're encouraging people to you know there's there's and there's places that you wouldn't think have beer that have beer like first flight bikes yeah. which is right beside the stage and you know 220s right there um delaney's the watering hole i mean there's wine maestro red buffalo there's all kinds of places where you can stop and get a Get a refreshing yeah. adult beverage so, and walk around. So, with just it. in case people don't understand, mm-hmm. just explain a little bit about explain the details of the social district. Because mm-hmm. so, not everybody participate. You know, you just got to be mindful of. If it's nerdy stuff, she likes to talk about it. Yes. I only want to talk about fun. Stuff. <laughs> I like details and rules. I was going to say, I feel uh, like this, this walks the line between both. <laughs> things, it, it, does, you know? it does. No, so the social district um, essentially covers. It, it's really almost our pumpkin fest footprint. Mm-hmm. Um, is is kind of what we use as the guideline. So there is um, a defined area within downtown, the social district, in which you can get a beverage from a participating. Um, ABC permitted establishment, so a bar, a restaurant, um, you know, a, the, the wine shop, um, and you can, they can give you um, your drink in a plastic container or an aluminum container, something that is not glass, put a sticker on it, and you can take that and you can actually walk around the street. You can mosey on down to the next door. That's the, the whole idea of the social district is to get people out and about in downtown rather than grabbing a drink and sitting there at a table in some, you know, in, in an establishment, you can go and, um, and browse through a couple of retail stores. Sure. And, and so. most, the majority of our, our retailers do allow social districts. Yep. So. And everybody's got... 
a sticker up in their mm-hmm. window basically saying whether they do participate they do. or whether they don't. Yep. Blue means you can buy beverages there and take them. Green means you can bring them in. Orange means no, sir. <laughs> and, and, and just um, just so I make sure I understand. The one thing about the, the places that are serving alcohol, mm-hmm. you cannot bring alcohol from another establishment into that establishment that also you need to finish it before you go right. into that next. You cannot bring it into the establishment. You can take it off to like a, the, the, the outdoor patios. seating yes. and yes. things like that. Okay. Yep. But finish it before you go in to Absolutely. purchase a drink from that new establishment. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so it's going to add a whole other. Details to know. They it's going to add a, a great layer because before you had to drink your your beer in the beer garden. You couldn't walk around. And you're like watching so. everyone have fun yeah. over there, yeah. and you're in a little fenced in. And now you can stand right. in line for food while enjoying your beverage. Exactly. <laughs> and an important detail too that I think some people have gotten confused on. It does not mean that you can bring your own alcoholic right. beverage. <laughs> <laughs> and walk down the street with it. Yes. Um, and because the stickers are dated and everything. They are. They yeah. are dated and they are um, time, stamped. time stamped. So that, you know, if you can't even have a cup from two weeks ago. Right. Um, that or if it's like six o'clock and your cup says 1030 a.m. Right. There's I mean, probably something. Right. Yeah, something going on there. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, you we, we tried to, to create regulations that would keep everybody, everything on the up and up and everybody safe and all of that. So, so far, it seems... Oh. Like it's gone off without a hitch since, yeah. since February. I mean, I don't really recall hearing many issues about there it has, at all. Yeah, I mean, once in a while, somebody will try to bring something in. They won't be thinking about it. And But but everybody's been very respectful when you mm-hmm. say, hey, you know, these are the rules. And, sure. That's a learning um, curve. Yeah. And it, it takes a while to educate people. So Richard's favorite weekend of the year, Full Bloom Film Festival. I saw a lot of people out taking advantage of enjoying yes. our social crawl. district. Our, our crawl. crawl was big. Yeah, it um, was. I think... Joanna over at the watering holes already told me she's doing um, a couple hundred cups for Pumpkin Fest. And I said, yeah, you probably want to double that. Yeah, maybe. Wherever The whole town's going to run out of beer. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. 10,000 people. Yeah. So um, real quick, I, I don't, I, we'd be remiss to not talk about the great arts and, and culture that you guys have in mm-hmm. downtown Statesville. So like the sculptures, the, um, the, the, the panels that you have on, don't even remember the name of the wall. Um, Street? Yeah, Cooper Street. Yeah, Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But tell us a little bit about the importance of art and some of the stuff. Because I, I know you have a on dedicated on your website. You can do, can you still do that? Can you do a little scavenger? Yes, hunt? and we're going to redo that actually. Okay, yeah, there so, are a few things that are on the little, list. Yeah, yeah, a few things that are a little outdated. Um, um, about that, so we are working on updating that. But yeah, we you know. States was kind of, downtown states was kind of just naturally become this somewhat naturally become this like arts and culture hub. It's it's really cool um, with the museum and with the art arts council and the full array of of programming that they have going on there. Um, and then we have the the sculpture garden down at the corner of Water Street and um, Center. And then we have sculptures, you know, peppered throughout downtown as well. There are just three new were added. Um, most recently, just this week, there was a sculpture moved from the sculpture park to right in front of um, of Dr. Payne's office on West Broad. Yeah. And um, so we have we have this this great um, this great smattering of of sculptures. And then we also have um, the art wall that you were discussing. That is the Cooper Street Banner Art Gallery. Um, so that has some good some good local art up there on banners. Um, and yeah, got got lots of lots of things in the works. We have an art. Um it's not really a museum, a, a gallery. Yes. A fine art gallery now, mm-hmm. which is very classy. Yeah. Uh, Lee Dale and Lee Dale mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. So um, for our listeners, lots of great things coming up this coming weekend. Uh, the Ghost Tours. Mm-hmm. Uh, they sell out fast, right? So. They do. This weekend is sold out. Well, last weekend was sold out. So yeah. this weekend I do have tickets left. Okay. So right jump, now. jump jump on that. Uh Pumpkin Fest November fourth, yes, and then straight into the, the holiday holidays. season, yeah. celebrating Small Business Saturday in the holiday season. Oh, I do want to mention um, that the uh, Christmas parade is now right. Are mm-hmm. they? I know you the the Masonic Lodge puts that on, but you guys are very involved in helping promote that and making sure that they have lots of visibility. Visibility, but you can now get your submit for your floats or to be in the yes the and Christmas parade there's a link on our website okay good <laughs> yes if you go to our if you go to our website which is just www.downtownstatesville.com um, there is a featured events page that has all of these big events that we do throughout the year um, in addition to our events calendar where it has all of our smaller events um, one of the things that we do for new businesses or businesses that are selling a, celebrating a milestone is we do a um, red carpet rollout mm-hmm. um, we've had so many this year 
year. There have been, a, it, even and, just in the past two or three weeks, we've had a, a good number. Yeah, and we have three coming up. Mm-hmm. One is, uh, well, two of them are really huge. I mean, Gigi's, of course, has reopened. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we're going to do a red carpet for her on November 1st at 10 a.m. And then Johnson's Greenhouse is celebrating 90 years wow. in business. Wow. Yeah, uh, that that's that's huge. I told her I, I feel like it's always her anniversary, but <laughs> um, so that's on October twenty sixth. Um, they'll they'll have a, a red carpet and um, they're going to do a ribbon cutting as well to celebrate that. And then Harbinson Parker Law has they have combined their offices and moved into a new space. So we're going to celebrate them on November thirtieth. Mm, yep. Beautifully rehabbed space. It actually. is. Yeah. Being the county seat, you guys are definitely home to lots of lawyers. Oh, there are lots of attorneys. Account, account, insurance. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We, but that's good. We have. They fill the restaurants. They absolutely <laughs> do. And, and it makes for a really vibrant downtown, you know, all, all week long. So. Yeah. So we have approximately 450 businesses that's, mm-hmm. that's that, that are under our jurisdiction. But, yeah, yeah, a lot of those are professional, you know, yeah, professional services. Um, yeah. well, I think that's really cool what, you know, you think about what people see when you're walking around downtown. Mm-hmm. Um, but the amount of second floor businesses and office spaces and barber shops and things that if you go into some of these buildings and you start looking around, there's a lot more stuff in there than oh, what yeah. you see from the street. Like there's the, a lot of nooks and crannies. There are like the Center Street Plaza. We were just in there yesterday showing someone around. And there's there, you know, we, we like to think of little spaces like that as kind of our incubators that, you know, if you have a small business just starting out that, you know, they have these kind of smaller, you know, five to eight hundred square feet space that spaces that they can rent until they're ready to move into, you know, something bigger. So we do have lots of just hidden away spaces. Yeah, Check out great. our business directory, because if you need something, it is on there and you can find it, find exactly where it's located and go go visit them yeah all, all these cool businesses you were talking about that are destination drivers all out mm-hmm. there on the directory um so folks go out and visit downtownstatesful.com yes. and uh we really appreciate you guys coming in today to share all things what you're doing because you're behind the scenes a lot and i know promoting businesses so we're glad to be able to promote you guys but uh these guys invite you to dine shop discover downtown statesful thanks everyone Thank you for joining Discover Statesful. You can email us at discover at statesfulnc.com. Check us out on Facebook at Discover Statesful NC, hashtag Discover Statesful, and our website, statesfulnc.com. Catch us next week as we continue on our journey to uncover the hidden gems, culinary adventures, entertainment, and to be inspired and enlightened as we discover Statesful.